Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends. And today we have a very, 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 very good news. Uh, before we start laughing at Muhammad and his uh, religion, uh, I have a great news to announce. Uh, so let me uh, share with you. I just uh, posted in Patreon. Uh, two links one for Chinese book my first translated book in Chinese the deception of Allah and I have to say I'm very very thankful for the one who did this job extremely thankful Now, we can share the truth with almost 2 billion Chinese about the filthy religion of Islam. Isn't it, this is amazing news? And as usual, we are posting it for free. Even though, I mean, such a book can make me a lot of money, huge, a number of people who never heard the truth about Islam and imagine if every one of them he just spent one dollar how much money I can make but for us for you for me for people who believe and for people who they are seeking the truth not money we are giving it for free so I want to say special thanks for the one who did this book it is a lot of work for sure it's not an easy job to do but this person he did it and as you see in the front of you for those who speak the language everything is well done well organized and it is done in a very professional way <clears throat> You know, sometimes people, they say, I'm going to translate your book. I heard many people saying, there is some of them, they were truthful, and those are the ones who did the job. And there is some, they are just, you know, trying to say hello and to talk to me, find an excuse to talk. But in fact, they don't care. Actually, there's a person, he said to me, he want to translate my book to Korean, but he said he want to sell it. I said, no. So I want to say again, thank you. And really, really, we appreciate what you did. The other accomplishment we have today, same story, all thanks to those who did Six and Allah in Russian language. So now, for the first time, we have Six and Allah in the Russian. This is very number one, and I hope very number two will be ready soon. Both links are posted in my Patreon for those who like to download. <clears throat> so really we appreciate the job of those people and just to tell you to let you know those people they did not get paid I did not pay them it was done for free so those people who did this they are amazing people for sure and all of us we have to be thankful for their work you know I can share my knowledge but I cannot make my knowledge in Chinese. I cannot make my knowledge in Russian <clears throat> or all languages which we have already. My book now already translated actually to a language that can cover, the, can cover the whole globe. From Spanish to Portuguese to Dutch to Chinese to Albanian, Kosovo, you name it amazing people and we are proud of them but now after we celebrate this great news it is time to celebrate the nipples of Fifi <laughs> listen brothers and sisters Fifi Hijab he went to the Chinese embassy 
and Fifi Hijab decide to show his nipples to the Chinese. Yeah, like what the heck? So when the hijab, he went to the Chinese embassy. He gathered with some Abdul. Uh, you know, and this guy, he will not hesitate to find any excuse to show his nipples. This is a proof that he is a mental, stupid kid. A teenage will not do that. Hey, Mimi, hey, what happened after that? I heard that the Chinese retreat. I heard that the Chinese uh, 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 ambassador, he have an uh, orgasm. What is this, man? Take this ring of flag, you son of Yo, yo, and look at the music. Look at this. You know, I, I do listen. First of all, your chest don't have muscles. All what I see is a fat boy. Like, I mean, what does that mean exactly? I mean, a Chinese kid can beat the hell of you. Why you are showing your nipples, son of Muta? Ah, uh -huh. We have to connect the dots. Why you did not go to the Chinese embassy ambassador and tell him, hey, okay, can I suck your wife's tit to make her haram? I mean, look at this hero, like this guy, unbelievably stupid. What is that, man? I mean, this guy, you want to show his chest. So the female Muslim woman, first of all, you don't have even a chest, you donkey. Secondly, I bet you a kid can beat you. Number three, as long as you are a hero, why you don't join, uh, you know, fight club and show us what you can do? I want to see what you can do. Honestly, I want you to go and, you know, show us. Desperate. I didn't know. I don't want to use the word ho-ho, you know. What is this? Even look, people are looking at you like, what this guy is doing? So we are protesting against China and the one who speak in our name. He take off his T-shirt to show us his nipple and says, if you want to have a fight, come here. Can't you make the fight wearing your T-shirt? By the way, Muhammad Hijab, is it halal in Islam to show your nipples? <laughs> is it your prophet? He says, this is, a this is a trapeze, you coward. What kind of a Muslim? He take off his T-shirt showing his nipples. I thought this is haram. Hmm. We compromise. But this is showing you how stupid. And the guy, he got home and he edited the video and he put like a music like Boom! Hercules! Uh, the trees! Did you go? Oh, da, da. This guy, he think he's, he, he think he's something, you know? <laughs> Forget about me, Major. <laughs> you know, Emini. I was thinking to call a friend of mine in China. He is six years old. Trust me, he can beat the hell of you. Are you sure you can fight the Chinese, Abdul? I mean, are you sure? Are you? You, no, look at this kid, look at this kid. You little tiny creature. Why are you a president in Egypt? So don't do the same. I want to see all the Muslims say the same. All of you potatoes in front of China. So what this shows for? Emirates they sign agreement with China, Saudi Arabia, Egypt, Syria, Iraq, Iran, Turkey. Everybody signed agreement and they are kissing their shoes. And you showing us your nipples? May Allah, you know what? I think you did not come from Egypt. I think you come from the Nepaline Valley. What is stupid donkey? I mean, it's mental, literally, mental illness. Anyway, he liked tits. He loved to show tits. He liked to talk about tits. He is a Mr. Tetaline. Tetaline hijab. May Allah bless your tits, brother. Man, I mean, you know what? I don't know what is the impact of this on the stock market after you did this. I'm not sure really, but I heard that the stocks of uh, <clears throat> it's uh, like increased. 
you know what is that hey by the way Mimi Hijab the government of uh, England just two days ago uh, like last week ago actually last week they announced that Hamas are terrorist organization why you don't do the same and why you don't do jihad you coward I mean between you and the, the Chinese the embassy is a few meters so as long you are a hero and you are a mujahid and you are a Muslim and you want to challenge the Chinese, here we go, go. You do stop these, this is how you do jihad. What? What in the hell is that? Hamas is announced as a terrorist organization. Do the Abdul in YouTube will go says we are supporting Hamas, I challenge them all. Is it Hamas your hero? When the guy with his name, the guy uh, Mufti uh, uh, Abu Laith, Abu Laith, he said something about the stupidity of Hamas. I mean, what the point of this uh, jihad? He will not win anyway. They go to his house, they broke the door, you know, a bunch of savage because they knew he would not do anything against them. But if somebody else, for sure, they will not dare to do so. Why you don't do something? Here we go. Hamas is banned. Hamas, the one doing jihad against Israel in, in where you live, potato, this is not your country, we cannot, say, we cannot call England your country, you know that, you are just a potato, and sooner or later they will deport you, just wait. And because of that, you don't dare to open your mouth, because you know that you are a fraud, you know that you are not a true Muslim, you know that you didn't dare to say what you should say, I challenge you to go in public and say, I am a member of Hamas, do you dare? And, you know, you can take your t-shirt off, you know, and put like uh, the flag of Hamas around your nipples, like Napaline Hamasin, you know, mashallah. <laughs> now we take commercial break and we go to... And the concept of Ahruf and the reality of Ahruf and the relationship of the Rathmatic Mus'haf with the Ahruf and the preservation of the Ahruf. Is it one? Is it three? Is it seven? And the relationship of the Qira'at to the Ahruf. This is a topic that when you're the beginning, beginning student of knowledge, you're like, what is all of this going on here? When you go a little bit more, you learn to simply memorize what your teachers say and regurgitate it out. And you don't fully comprehend. When you do a deep dive is when things get very, very awkward and difficult. And this isn't... When you take a deep dive, things get really awkward. And uh, we did some little deep dive. It turned to be that Muhammad never heard of an angel. His name is Jibril. Because for the last 40 years, Muhammad was watching Mickey Mouse. And he was a pagan. He was a kissing stone worshiper. He never, ever, ever, ever heard of Jibril. Hey, Jibril. Uh, who's Zabril? Zabril? I never heard of Zabril. 40 years old. Muhammad. He never heard of Zabril. I will add this to my every... Actually, I will add this to... I will change my entry. You know, I will add the... the, the, the uh, maybe the nipples of Mimi Hijab. This guy is saying Muhammad, he do not know Jibril, and he was a pagan, and he was not Abrahamic. The whole in the narrative. I mean, we have a collection to make the best video intro. But, but then the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, Allah put around him those people that will console him, like his wife yeah. Khadija. Yeah. And then when... Yeah, you know, Khadija is a consultant, and she, you know, show her legs and her nipples. I mean, the nipples is a very, 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 you know, authentic in Islam. As you see, Mimi Hijab show his nipples. The Prophet, a man, he kiss him down his nipples and they'll go, go down to his belly bomb. And then Allah, he put Khadija as a consultant for the Prophet. Look at this. I mean, Khadija, she's a consultant to the Prophet. But Khadija, oh boy. Hey, Abdul, what was the religion of Khadija? Who was consulted to the Prophet at that time? Tell us. Gabriel started coming more often. He told him, I'm Gabriel, I'm bringing the message to you. And then he'll bring news to him of the past about like what happened with Joseph and Moses, things that he wouldn't have known. Because yeah. you know, he couldn't read or write, right? Uh, he told him things nobody knows, you know, like nobody knows. Uh, Muhammad just lived between the Jews, you know, for many years. But the Jibreel was telling him, 
Yeah, we, we can prove that easy that Jabril was telling them, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then like amazing, miraculous things like linguistic miracles that the yeah, Arab poets yeah. couldn't receive. Yeah, linguistic uh, miracle, like, you know, you, you can eat in the house of your father and your brother and your sister and your mother and you, the neighbor, blah, 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 and you ever have, you have a key. Yeah. Um, uh, you, um, Fun too. Yeah. So, that's cool. That's but cool. I like this guy when he said to him, that's cool. He's getting his cold water to, to throw at him. He didn't know it was Gabriel. The angel didn't tell him it was Gabriel. He did, he did, he did. Oh, that's cool. So he did not know that this is Gabriel, right? No, no, he did, he did, he did, he did. How? Sure. Any later? No, no, even at that oh, time, okay. right? But but I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Uh, because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. He did not know who is Gabriel is. So today we will open our Skype and we want Muslims to call us and tell us how in the world Muhammad at the age of 40 years old he is not Abrahamic so you Muslims all of you you lie to us and he do not know who is Gabriel 40 years of age not 4 years of age 40 years of age he do not know who is Gabriel? So, what was the religion of Muhammad? We know now that he is pagan, and uh, Ibn Uthman, may Allah bless his nipples, he made it clear, remember, the Arab were pagans. What was the religion of Khadija? If we say to the Muslims she was a Christian, they will say, no, 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 she was not. But that's wonderful. There's tons of videos saying that. So she was then pagan. So Muhammad religion, according to what religion Muhammad he married from Khadija? When you do marriage, marriage is something you do according to belief. Okay, what was the belief? Right? Yeah, and then like amazing, miraculous things like linguistic miracles that the yeah, Arab poets yeah. couldn't respond to. Yeah. So that's cool. That's yeah, the Arab they could not respond to except saying this is stupid Abdul. <laughs> like as, as an example, amazing things no can nobody can you know answer to them. Allah He says if you try to leave the zone of the earth, Allah will shoot your ass with fire. Nobody can respond to this. Who can? Can you? Or Allah in the Quran says that you are coming from the backbone of the, the women and the backbone of the man. But the important for us that Muhammad he do not know what faith is. He have zero faith in the true God. You see when he said to him, you do not know what faith. He's talking about that you do not know the true faith. You do not know anything about true God. You don't have a true religion. So what Muhammad was carrying in his bag for 40 years? My Skype is open. We have a Muslim saying to me, call me coward, I'm here. That's, that's good. Yes, my friend, you are live on air and you said, call me coward. Don't you have anything better to do? No, no, I don't have anything. I don't, you know, my favorite thing, let me tell you what I do. I watch Muslim videos because, you know, they show their nipples, you know, and uh, as you see, you know, do you have better things to do? What do you yeah. think about what do you think about your brother Mimi Hijab showing his nipples in the front of the embassy? Is it is it halal for a Muslim to walk topless in the street in front of women and children and men? I think he was emotional. Ah, so you Muslim when you get emotional you take off your clothes. Why aren't you speaking about what is going on with Muslims in China? Muslims in China? I'm talking, don't, we are talking about Muslims in China. So now, uh, what what's going on with him, China? So you take you take your clothes off if you get emotional. Are you are you emotional now? I'm not saying that's right. 
but I'm saying oh so are, you are saying that maybe hijab is wrong he shouldn't have taken off why he, why he should not why he should not tell us give us the, the answer because there could be women so he should hide himself from women you know okay well don't he knew that there's women around don't is it obvious this guy is even recording in YouTube which means now millions will see it and he's posting it in his channel so not only he did it in the street, he have cameras, his own cameras, and he have his own potatoes recording him. So now all your Muslim, did your, did your wife she see the nipples of Mimi Hijab? Did you share the video with her? I'm saying Are you honest, honestly, honestly, are you going to share the video of Mimi Hijab showing his nipples with your wife? Why would I do that? Like, what kind of thinking you have? Which I'm telling you, asking you, this guy is doing jihad for Allah. So why you want to share the video with everybody? What's wrong with you? The guy, he did it for the sake of Allah to defend the Chinese Muslims, right? Okay, the Yogur. Now, he, he after he took off his... Do you know what happened in China after he did? I heard that the, the, the president of China, he seek refuge in England, in the same street with the Mimi Hijab. He's running away. He don't know what to do, you know? The Chinese, they are really like, in, in trouble. They are hiding. They are buying food. I heard even the supermarket is out of food because the guy, he took off his T-shirt. Why he took off this shirt? What do you think? Yeah, I think that's wrong. He shouldn't take off. What do you mean wrong? Are you saying this is stupid or wrong? I'm saying he got emotional talking about Muslims, so he took off T-shirt, but he shouldn't take off T-shirt. Why he shouldn't? That's you know, explain to me. You are saying to me things he should, should not, but are, you are not telling me why he should or he should not. I mean, he has to, uh, you know, cover his body. He not he he need what? He should cover his body. Okay, so this is according to Islam, right? Yeah. So men they have aura too. Men they have aura. Aura mean the private part, right? And this is part of it. He should not show, correct? Yes, exactly. Exactly. So Mimi Hijab is not being a Muslim. He is not being a good representative, I would say. Of so, are you saying he was a bad representative of Islam? No, I'm saying that uh, what he's saying is very good, but the the thing he did, I, I don't like that of taking off his t-shirt. Uh, but uh, uh, they say they say the things he's saying is good, but what he's saying is connected with what he, what he's doing. What he's no. saying is connected with yeah. He said to take a fight, and he took off his t-shirt. Take a fight, so he is doing it as part of the sentence. But he could fight while having clothes on. Okay, and how did he fight anyway? I mean, what what is the point of this stupid thing? The embassy is next door. He is in front of the embassy. He did not even knock at the door. He did not even dare to touch the door. So what kind of a fight you are picking when you are a coward? You don't dare even to touch the door of the one you call them enemies. If it's a peaceful protest, then there's no point to take off your t-shirt and say, come on, fight me. Correct? And now yeah. after he took the t-shirt to fight him, how many girls from the Chinese embassy came out to, to like, at least to sign in his chest? Do you think we should collect, he should collect signature of Muslims in his chest to support the Yogur? No. Why no? In his back, in his ass. By the way, why he did not take off his trouser? I mean, what is the difference between the top and the bomb. I mean, shouldn't you do the, uh, like the fighters? They take everything. I mean, fighters in the stage they wear like a panty. So why he took only the the top? What's what's happened with the rest? Do you think he have something wrong there? Like when the when the Jews accuse uh, uh, Musa that he have hernia? Look, look, what look? I mean, we know you Muslims. You bring us a shameful people to present Islam. What is this? Top place. Do you, did you go topless before in the street? I never ever did that. Why you never do that? Are you saying you are an honorable person? You are a decent man? No, no, no that's not what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I, I know I shouldn't do that. Why you shouldn't? Why you shouldn't? You, you, you keep saying uh, I should not do that. I mean, what? I, I'm not, I'm not going to tempt other women. You will not tempt other women? You think women, Muslim women are tempted by this... Uh, the chicken chest. Not I mean, him. this guy, oh, he don't have muscles. This guy, he have not. And not only that, look, he shaved the hair around his, in his breast. Have you ever heard of a, of a Middle Eastern man shaving his chest? I never heard of one. You see, look at the beard. Look how thick the beard in his face. 
which means he should have tons of hairs in his chest. This guy, he is shaving it, even is shown in the picture. What kind of a man he shave his chest? Why he want to shave his chest, you know? Okay. What okay? Why you are so quiet? I want you to I want your voice to be heard, my friend. You are a Muslim. Oh, so you think if I say something, Muhammad Hijab will listen? Will what? Will listen? Are you saying he's a stupid donkey? He will not listen to you? No, that's not what I'm saying. Well, you just said, you, do you think if I say something, he will listen? No, I'm saying if I if I give brother hijabani advice, you think he will he will listen to your videos? You know, but the, but the Muslim they will say because now many Muslims they will start doing the same. I will not be surprised if tomorrow we find the you know the, like twenty Muslim females going in front of the uh, the, the Chinese embassy is taking off their top. Because if no. men can do it, men, why not? If it's haram for man, and the man he do it, a Muslim don't go, go, don't get upset. Why Muslim women they will not do it? Mm. It's showing yeah. is is showing Muslim women if they show their breast, is it haram or forbidden? Of course, haram. So why your prophet he order a Muslim woman to give her breast to a stranger? And there is a verse in the Quran, eaten by the goat. It says that. There is 10 time breastfeeding for adult. And here we go. This is Mimi Hijab was going around asking Muslim females to suck their tits. Have you ever tried this, uh, the, the, the tits, uh, su you know, sucking for adult? Look, I think uh, he needs some advice, Muhammad Hijab. What do you mean? Are, are you saying he's gone out of his mind? Is is stupid? Why well, you don't say things clearly? Come on. Don't put, don't put words in my mouth. Where I, where I should put it? I'm saying okay, what you know what? Uh, what's great. wrong with what is wrong with this religion? Each time some something they say, they say I put words in my mouth. So Muhammad he speak for shaitan. It says that shaitan he throw words in his mouth. They blame everybody for what they do. So it is you said that he, I, I think say you said you, you, I didn't say that. You said that you said he need he needs some advice, which means he is doing yeah. stupid things. You said no. you said you said he should not do that, you know. Okay, is that extreme stupid or this is extreme wise to show and take off your clothes in the front of men, men and women and children? Is I it, think what he did is, is not right. He, he, should, he should repent to God. And he should repent to God, okay. Yes, he, and he should remove that video. He should remove that video. So are yeah. you saying now he is he's committing big sin by doing that because you just said he should repent to God? He should repent. I mean, even if somebody does small sin, he should repent. Is you this know, is this like, one is a small thing? This is this is a, you know since he did it publicly, I would say it's not small. It's not small. So what? So he, this is a big sin. Like taking off his T-shirt. I know he didn't intentionally. No, my friend, he didn't intentionally like, because this speech is written. He knew what he is doing. He is not a kid. And he was waiting for the moment to take off his clothes because this guy he did it many times before. This is not the first time. Any time, okay. any time, any because he is there just to take off his t-shirt. This guy he think he is a hero or something. This guy is obsessed. He trying to show here. He, he love to show off. And as you see, he don't have muscles. He don't have. I, I don't see muscles there. I see all what I see a fat boy. Where is where? Is, I mean, why you are taking off your your t-shirt and why you are shaving your chest? Why somebody he is so hairy in the face he have zero hair in his in his body? Obviously he prepare himself he spend the night before you go, shaving his chest and maybe his private part, because it's it's a it's a short time. Now you said he have to repent and he have to remove his video, okay? But as you see here no, the Muslims I, I did I, not see one no, Muslim why I did not see one Muslim, here, mm. uh, saying shame on you to show your chest. Look, look at the comment in his page. Actually, there's a Muslim calling him Habibi. Look, look, this guy, Salah, Salih family, him and his family are watching, and he says, he brought us to tears, Habibi. Habibi. What he, what he said, he what he stood for was right, but he got very emotional to no. the point he took off his T-shirt. That's wrong. You okay. cannot do that. All right. Like, look. Like uh, a Sahabi, you know, he he killed a person even though he was saying uh, the kalma. The kalma. He thought he was lying. 
but uh, so my prophet said did you uh, look at his heart that he was lying hmm my prophet condemned that and my prophet told to him what will you do when he will raise on the day of judgment and he will be saying la 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 what you will do hmm so you just admitted that the muslims were were forcing people to convert to islam if he say the no. shahada yeah because if he say shahada don't kill him you thought you say if he say shahada don't kill him if you don't say shahada kill yeah, him in, in the war what in the war? still you are forcing people to convert to islam in war in what war who cares all, all of islam is a war and now muhammad hijab is going in war as you see like you know the chinese now i heard that the chinese they release every single christian prisoner because of Mimi Hijab. They did not release the, the Muslims because they are so intimidated, you know? Like they went to the jail and they opened the door by mistake because they are so nervous. Like Muhammad Hijab took his t-shirt. Like what the heck? And now, I mean, they don't know what to do. And the president, he told them to buy food from the supermarket because Mimi Hijab is coming, especially with his two nipples. If he have one nipple, they will not be afraid, by the way. But he shows two. And when Muhammad Hijab, he saw two nipples, that means things will, will, will uh, the moon will split asunder. So you see, we ask the Muslims, we ask the Muslims, what is the point of this stupid behavior? You do jihad, no. You are a coward, yes. You go in the street, make a, a, a topless speech, what, what you did exactly. All Islamic government, they are buying weapon from China. Name one, they don't. All Islamic countries, starting from the King of Saudi, they, they just went a few months ago. The, uh, the Prince of Emirat, the, King of, the Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia, I mean, all of them. The Prince of Qatar, all of them, they are kissing the ass of the Chinese. So why the Muslim leaders are kissing the ass of the Chinese and Mimi Hijab showing his nipples? So Mimi Hijab, you have a market. The market is in, in the internet. <laughs> He's a hero in the internet. <laughs> you know what Chinese are planning to do? What they are? Tell me. You know everything. The, the China, they are planning to send people on Mars too. They are doing what? Uh, they are planning to send human beings on Mars. Man, you said a human being, right? Yeah. Thank God that's not included then Mimi Hijab then. <laughs> so, in the next, next 10 to 15 years, like the world will change a lot. I know. So the Chinese will rule you, Muslims. The Chinese are coming. What you can do about it? So you show your, you show your nipples. You don't show your nipples. Who cares? I mean, who is this just stupid idiot showing his nipple to the Chinese? And the Chinese now, you know what? I heard the Chinese, they will not eat noodles no more. They will eat mumi hijab nipples. <laughs> Why are you making fun of him? Just if you have a Twitter, you can just tag him and tell him if you're. I am here. We go. I'm live. I am live, my friend. That is what I do here. I'm live. You know, and the, the, this guy is an idiot. He told Muslims he went to be a Christian prince. He did not there. He hang up on me here and away like a potato, and uh, uh, you know he's a he's a show off boy. He is just a little boy. He don't know what to do. He's just uh, uh, looking for opportunity. You can tell. Listen, be honest with me. Don't can't you tell that he is just looking for opportunity to show off? No, he he tries to talk to people like he talked to Jordan Peterson. He talked to Jordan Peterson. He talked to him in person. I mean, he he did talk online. Obviously, COVID is hey, okay. Out. I I yes. talked. Then is this is the case? I talked with Allah too because I talk about Allah every day. Does that mean I talk to Allah? I mean, this is silly. Okay, but you remind me something. Here we go. Uh, Mimi Hijab, just a few weeks ago, maybe two weeks ago, he have interview with someone he is uh, anti-Christianity. Supposedly he is a scholar. He invited him and his name is uh, Bart uh, uh, Ehrman. And look what happened. No, listen, listen, I want you I want you to see what happened so we can die laughing together. Jesus Christ, there's a lot of uh, interest, I think, from the Muslim community and many Muslims feel that well, your conclusions, your historical conclusions of who Jesus Christ is, is more commensurate with the Muslim uh, idea than it is with uh, the Christian one. I, I wouldn't say that they line up well with the uh, Muslim view. <laughs> he, told, he told this guy that Christianity and Islam, they line up together. He said, no, I don't think they line up well. <laughs> And then he told him, uh, he said to him, and I believe that Jesus was crucified and he was buried. <laughs> I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. I'm not, I cannot care.
I really believe that Jesus was crucified and was buried. So the whole interview to prove Christianity to be not to be the Bible is corrupt. But now he proved the Quran to be corrupt. What do you think about this interview? He just got a guy I, who he said to him in face, I believe that Jesus was crucified, which means the story in the Quran is a fabrication. I didn't listen to this interview. So if you can play it uh, right now, I will listen to it. Okay, you can hear the video? No, I cannot. Um, okay, I want you to do this. Uh, mute me in the sky for uh, like three minutes, you know? Yeah. And listen to me from YouTube so you can see the screen, you know, because uh, uh, if I play it somehow, I need to change this. Let me see if I can change the, the speakers setting so you can hear it from here. Hold on. Uh, let us see how we change the audio. Okay, I will change the. I will play the audio now, and you tell me if you can hear it. You know, from the from your side. And many Muslims feel that your conclusions, your historical conclusions of who Jesus Christ is, is more commensurate with the Muslim uh, idea than it is with uh, the Christian one. I, I wouldn't say that they line up well with the uh, Muslim view. <laughs> I really do think Jesus. No, no. Did you hear it now without playing on YouTube? Did you hear it? No? Let me try again. Hold on. Commensurate with the Muslim uh, idea than it is with what about, what about uh, the Christian one. I, I wouldn't say that they... No? Okay, let me try something else. Hold on. Uh... Okay, uh, let us see now. Uh, what we do it here? My voice go very bad. Hold on. Okay, uh, let us see now here. They line up well no. with the uh, Muslim view. <laughs> I really do think hear Jesus was crucified and that he really was. Huh? Do you hear it now? Dead and buried. Hello? But I don't hear him no more now. Okay, I have to go then. All right, my friend, then uh, go and uh, uh, why I hear this noise now. Do you hear me, my friend? Hello? Yeah. Okay. Uh, mute me here. You know what? Call me after three minutes. Okay. All right. That's the best way, I think. So look what happened. The poo of Mimi Hijab, the nip. By the way, Mimi, why did not take off your T-shirt with the guy? Didn't it, you did not get emotion when this guy he said to him, "I believe that Jesus <laughs> was buried and crucified." <laughs> Historical conclusions of who Jesus Christ is is more commensurate with the Muslim uh, idea than it is with uh, the Christian one. I, I wouldn't say that they line up well mm -hmm. with the uh, Muslim view. <laughs> I really do think Jesus was crucified. <laughs> And then he really was dead and buried. I'm not interested in whether Jesus was the Son of God because I don't think there was a God. And so, my understanding is that your conclusion is that Jesus Christ was a messianic prophet. Messianic prophet. I think he. <laughs> my understanding that, and you believe that Jesus Christ is a messianic prophet. So, <laughs> so Mimi Ejab is saying to the guy that Jesus is not the Messiah. He's a messianic prophet, <laughs> which means the Quran is written by an idiot. He's asking him to say yes. Yes, he is not. He is not the Messiah. Hello. So why your stupid God keeps saying the Messiah? I mean, this guy, you know, why the Muslim don't accuse him that he is paid by me? Because obviously, I mean, I will not find better person to laugh at Allah and his Quran. To help us to expose the stupidity of Islam more than this guy. All those verses in the Quran saying that the, uh, Isa is the Messiah, Isa is the Messiah, Isa is the Messiah. And Mimi Hijab is asking the guy to agree that you believe that he is a Messianic prophet, which means he is not the Messiah. He is a person coming to uh, bring good news about the Messiah. <laughs> Okay, I'll do more, 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 more. 
Oh boy. Uh, what else? What else? He thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen. So he thought, did you see the guy? The guy you ask him as a, as a scholar, according to you, he said that Jesus, he thought, which means he taught. It's not the Christian, they say that the, the, the Messiah is the son of God. It was Jesus, let me play it for you again, in the front of your head and you are shaking your head like a potato. You are shaking your head like a mule because you just admitted that the Christian did not change the Bible. You coward, you stupid, you potato, you nipples, nipaline, cocaine, morphine. What kind of drugs you are taking? I think he, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is, after all, why they crucified him. <laughs> Let us call this Abdul and see what he will say. So did you watch it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mute YouTube, YouTube. So, what do you think about the interview this guy he do? I mean, this guy is is helping us big deal to expose the stupidity of Islam. What do you think? Oh, uh, I mean, uh, according to what you have shown me so far, uh, he the other guy who Muhammad Tijab had on, he wasn't agreeing at all. Like he was saying, Jesus died. He was crucified. He obviously didn't agree at all with the Quran. And uh, according to what he showed me, Muhammad Hijab didn't tell him anything. Exactly. And he was sitting like a potato. And not only that, Muhammad Hijab, no, we have to admit, Muhammad Hijab, he tried to put the Quran in the middle. So he said to him that the Quran is a preserved, not like the Bible, uh, mm -hmm. because there's no contradiction. The guy, he said to him, I have a yellow pages book. <laughs> And have no contradiction. <laughs> it's preserved. <laughs> Historically right. <laughs> you know, I think that I all of these gospel authors, I think all of them think that in some sense maybe. Jesus is God. Uh, he should have shown the words about uh, Allah lifting Jesus up. He didn't say what? Maybe he, Muhammad Hijab should have shown that person other verses about Jesus, you know. My friend, when you invite somebody, and you say that he is a scholar. That means you, you, you admit his value of answers, correct? Yeah. Okay. So the person we invite to tell us his answers in interview run by a Muslim channel and a guy he always show his tits. If we don't agree with him, we will not have him with us. What, what is the point of this interview? If the point is to prove that the Bible has changed, with the guy he destroyed the Quran before he say anything about the Bible, because he just said Jesus was crucified. Jesus he told that he was the Messiah and he is the Son of God, and this is what he believed in. He he you know he said and yes he was buried, and he he debunked even when when Mimi Hijabi says the Quran was not uh, changed because there is no contradiction. <laughs> he said to him even my yellow pages is have no contradiction. So he insulted the Quran in front of his face. Yeah. Then why should he, why did he just shut up like a coward? Exactly. So when I say to you, my you see the guy, he is saying he is comparing the Quran to yellow pages. Look, if I was talking to this scholar, yeah. If I shut up, what you then would do? You would show him that. No, no. If if I shut up, that means. It's okay for me because I do not have that much knowledge, so I cannot reply to him. But Muhammad Hijab, he has a lot of knowledge. Huh? He has Why a lot of knowledge? He... How come? You know, Muhammad Hijab has zero knowledge. Uh, you know, he's a stupid. If you remember when he was talking to David Wood, David Wood, he says, your God, Allah, have hands, he have foot. He, he said to him, who said so? But all of us, we knew that this is what, what the Muslim believe. That's what Muhammad said. Allah said so. Allah in the Quran said so. I, I think in the in Bukhari, uh, it's written like Allah has two hands, right? No, my friend, even in the Quran, you know, the, 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 sorry, the, 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 the Jews, they said that the hand of Allah are uh, like uh, 
uh, chained. Yeah. So he said both his hands are not. You know, the Quran is so clear. And even there is tons of hadith from your prophet, as you said, explaining those things that Allah have a shin, Allah have a foot, Allah have five fingers, Allah have uh, uh, two hands, Allah have two eyes. So when this guy, he is, and the Muslim, they say that he won the debate, right? But in fact, yeah. he was insulting his God. He was making fun of his God. This is why the guy, he hated me, because after he finished the debate, this is, was a priceless opportunity for me to make a barbecue of Islam. You know, you know me, how much I love Islam. <laughs> So when he finished sure, the debate, I said, man, yeah. this is gold. I said to myself, this is a main of gold. Like, you know, let me, let us dig in this interview, this video, and let us laugh as we are doing now. I mean, those guys, they do poo, poo Let me ask you, what do you think about uh, what Sheikh Uthman, he said about that Muhammad was a pagan and he never been Abrahamic. Listen to this. You want to hang up and listen, or did you hear it or not yet? Uh, about what? He said, he not. said that Muhammad is not Abrahamic. He was mm -hmm. from the pagan, the Arab were pagan. He was not Abrahamic and he never knew Gabriel. Did you hear the video or not? I didn't. Who said this? Uthman? Sheikh Uthman. Yeah, let me hang up on you. I will, I will, oh call, my I will God. call you. I will call you after a minute. Give me, give me a minute. Listen to me in YouTube, please. He says, oh my God. Don't say, oh my God. Say, oh my Allah. Even his name, I love my Allah. <laughs> I mean, those Muslims are priceless. They are priceless because they destroy Islam left and right. Listen carefully. Moses, things that he wouldn't have known. Because, yeah. you know, he couldn't read or write, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then like uh -huh. amazing, miraculous things like linguistic miracles yeah. that the yeah, Arab poets good. couldn't respond to. Nobody yeah. can respond. So, that's cool. That's so cool. He, he didn't know it was Gabriel. The angel didn't tell him it was Gabriel. He did, he did, he did. He sure. did. He did. No, no, even at that time, right? But even at that time, even at that time, he did. Show us the reference. Even at that time, he did. <laughs> but I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? He did not know what Gabriel is, huh? right? He did not know. Remember, he did not know what Gabriel is. 40 years old Muhammad was living in Arabia. He did not know what is Gabriel. Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. He did not come from Abrahamic faith. But I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. Okay, here we go. Let us call uh, uh, I Love Allah again. All right, my friend. Did you hear it? Uh, he said he did not know who Gabriel was, right? Yes, and he said he is not from the Abrahamic faith. He was not from the Abrahamic faith. I mean, I can understand why he said he, uh, he do not know who Gabriel was before mm. he became prophet. I can understand that. Mm. But saying he was not Abrahamic, I don't understand. Well, let us connect things together. If Muhammad, he never heard of uh, Gabriel, that's mean you agree. That's Muhammad never heard of Abraham because simply this is the angel which always deliver the message of Allah to the Prophet according to the Quran. So when yeah. you say I never heard of Gabriel and you say you understand, which means it's okay to say that, right? You just admitted yourself that Muhammad never have any knowledge of any prophets before the 40 years of old or, or, or age. Because all the angels according to Islam, all the, sorry, all the prophets according to Islam, they've been carried the message to by Gabriel. And if you do not know the name of the person who delivered the message, that means you have zero knowledge of the message. What do you think? Uh, I mean, I don't know a lot about that. I have to do some research. Hmm. So I cannot but don't you think? Anything. But don't you think now, Muslims, New Muslims, you cannot say anymore to the Christians lying to us, saying that Muhammad was Abrahamic. This is your sheikh. You see, why I don't see Muslims striking and says, shame on you, how you say that, blah, blah, blah. Muslim, you know, it's, they agree. You see, this is what Muslims, they do. If a Christian, he say that, Muslim, they would say, lie number 111. Lie, Christian prince, lie number 170. So those, whatever I say, it's a lie. When a Muslim, he say it, it's okay. There's a video in a, a, a Suku, Suku, I don't know, Suku, Kuku, whatever it is, a channel. 
it says it uh, it uh, uh, look like Allah he gave us the permission to be a pimp go watch the video three Muslims they are discussing that Allah he gave them uh, he allowed them to be pimp I say Allah he allow you to be pimp to Muslim they say liar it doesn't say that it doesn't say that CP it doesn't mean that CP but when they are alone they agree what does pimp mean pimp mean you hire your daughters or your whatever with females you know you have a control of to do work for you prostitution you get paid oh. you know like you wear like maybe hijab you know you take you you show off your t-shirt you know mashallah and then you put like some gold in your chest and you shave you, sh you shave your hair chest like your maybe hijab and then you ask the females to go and open their legs and make money and bring you money this is not Quran. Mm -hmm. And the video is there. Anyone can go watch it. Maybe the admin, they can pause the videos. It's licensed to be, it's, the, the, in the video they were saying, brother, it sounds like the Quran saying, uh, it's okay, uh, we have a license to be a pimp. The other two, Abdul, they said, yeah. They agree, and they discuss it. And, uh, So you 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 guys believe in one God, right? Yeah, we believe in one God. Congratulations, my friend. Uh, do you believe in one God yourself? Congratulations, my friend. Do you believe in one God yourself? I decided to leave Christianity and accept Allah as your Lord. What? What? I'm very happy for you. What, 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 hold on. We are the one who believe in one God before Islam is exist. So what the point? Now you are happy. Don't you think the news is late? It's you who came after us. Not no, not it's not us who came before. I mean, after you. But let me ask you: Is your God Allah is one? Don't change the topic. I'm not. Okay. We are in the topic of one God. Is your God Allah is one? And I'm, I'm talking to you. You cannot ask me anything. I cannot ask you. What happened to your teeth? Okay. What happened yes, to your okay. teeth? Allah is one. What? Allah is one. Allah is one? One what? Oh, one. So you are that stupid that I need to explain to you what yeah, one explain to me. You are the smart. As you said, I'm stupid. So I need explanation, please. You said Allah is one. One what? One meant one. That's it. One what? What do you mean one meant one? What does that mean? One what? One means he's, he's, he's alone. Nobody with him. He's alone. Okay, so let us go to the Quran. I want you then because, uh, you know, a genius like you is an opportunity for me. Just remember that. T take my quote. This is a quotation. A genius like you is an opportunity to me. So now, if we go in the Quran, it says that if Allah, he liked to take a partner, which is a female or a wife, so he can have babies, so you have sex. He says, we take it from us. Who is us if Allah is alone? Himself. Us is himself. He will he will have sex with himself. It doesn't have to be sex, okay? So what he will do? Tell us. God, I don't know. What do you mean you I, don't I, know? You are I, the I, genius. I, you know. I, remember I, you. I, remember you are the smart, and we are the stupid, and we okay. are. This is why you are here. We are doing interview. Like you, right now, you are Bart Er Rahman. So now I'm asking you. It says here, if we had. If you had to find a pastime which is about a female, a female, a wife, or etc., we will take it from our, ourselves. Ourselves who? Allah is going to marry himself, have sex with himself, do boom boom to himself, or no. Allah he have other Allahs and they are females. No, no, no. no. Okay, he... read the verse for me. Chapter 21, verse number 17. Go ahead, it's on the screen. <laughs> No, he said within himself, with his heart. Okay, so Allah will take a partner within himself. Guys, Allah will take a partner within himself. <laughs> Solve this problem for me. How he will take a how he will take a partner? How will take a partner from within himself? I'm look, I'm his slave. I don't know about all of that, okay? I will ask him after I die. You will you will ask who? I will ask Allah after I die and meet him. You, you lost your teeth already and you are waiting to die. Okay, die. And can you do, can you do it now? Die. And you need to see what Allah will say. I mean, what kind of religion 
The Muslim, they cannot answer it when they are alive. They say to us, we will answer you when after we die. <laughs> no, I didn't say I will answer you. I said I will ask Allah about it. Exactly. But that's meaning you cannot answer us. That's, I will ask Allah about yeah. it when I die. So, um, so my, my friend, okay. is that the answer of all the Muslims? They say to Christian Prince, we will answer you after we die? No, no, no. Knowledgeable Muslims, you know, uh -huh. you should talk to them. Are you not, you are not knowledgeable like like who like Mimi Hijab the, the Nepal boy? Yeah, talk to Mimi Hijab. Okay. Okay, call him right now. Call him. Yeah. You think he's my brother? Like I will call him. Well, he is your brother in Islam, and he show his nipples, so you know you have connection. Get the I, cable. Got the got the cable. The the battery cable. Hook it up to his uh, his nipples, and let us uh, his, hear his voice. I want to see the coward what he can say. Okay, forget about Mimi. Do you know any sheikh you can call him right now? No, I don't have a real sheikh, not a boy from YouTube. Why you don't know? I mean, who is going to believe you really that you have a zero knowledge of any man? Don't you go to the mosque? Yes. Okay, the mosque don't have an imam. I mean, imam just knows how to say surahs and stuff. He is not knowledgeable when it comes to debate. Ah. Okay, okay. So do you know anyone he can answer me? So why are you are calling me then? Yes. Why, I, I, why are you are calling me? Like is it like you want you want me to play a song for you? What why are you are calling me? If, I'm you, if you know nothing, so we ask you a simple question about Islam. Why how Allah will take a wife from us if he is one person, how that's Allah not will take a question. What is that question was? That's not a simple question. Like that that's is a very a complex question. Okay, so are you saying that you you Muslim you do not know the nature of your God? God is one, uh -huh. but in himself, like you can ask to knowledgeable people about that. I, I okay, don't want to say you see, I'm, I, I, So you, you are saying to me, we Muslims, we have no idea what Islam is about. So you are a Muslim, you are a grown man. You have kids, you have, a, you have four wives. May Allah bless them and give you more babies. And you are putting all of the words in my mouth. Okay. I don't have a wife. I'm single. I'm not an adult. Okay? Because you are not showing your nipples. You just, you just do what Mimi Hijab you do. Show your nipples, the Muslim women, they will see how beautiful your chest is. And even Muslim guys, by the way, they will like it. By the way, is it true that your, your prophet, he promised you in heaven that you will have sex with men? So? Oh, sex with men? Uh-huh. I don't know that. Well, isn't it he said that in heaven there is a market? Yes, I know about that market. Like we can buy clothes and stuff. I think. No, he says there is only in this market. There is only magazine. Show me what you are talking about. I don't know. Okay, let us see. Let us show you. By the way, if you have no. if you have a friends, if you have a friends, they speak uh, Chinese. We have my book translated into Chinese for free. You know, and sex and Allah in Russian, if you know anyone. What is your language, original language? My Urdu. Oh, okay, Urdu. Soon we will have it in Urdu then. Fil jannati li suq. All right, let's see the hadith. Put it for you on the screen. All right. Is the screen shown to you? You can see the screen, right? I can see the screen, but you you know how YouTube is, right? Oh, okay. It, it, yeah, it says here. It says here uh, that in the heaven there is there is a market. The Messenger of Allah said in paradise there is a market which nothing is brought to or sold except images of men and women. Mm -hmm. And if a man he like an image, he will enter it, i.e., become his. What do you think? <clears throat> if a man likes an image, he will enter into it. So what? To have sex. Okay, he will like only women. No, it says image. The customer is a man. The customers mm. are men. It says if a man, he doesn't say if a man or a woman, he says if a man like an image. So who is the one? The customer is, is men. Yes. Who is the one in the image? Men and women. If the no, man... oh, you see, that's where I think you misunderstood. Ah, okay. How? Let's explain. Uh -huh. You see, you are here to talk honestly. I want you to be saved. 
So I will explain to you. Explain, go ahead. In, in paradise, there is a market in which nothing is bought or sold except images of men and women. Images, not one image. Exactly. That's what I'm saying, my friend. You agree? Men, men images. Okay, so okay, okay, hold on, hold on. Men of a man. Okay, so, so, the, so the images. Okay, the images. Hold on. Women, men. Focus with me. The images are images of men and women. Correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. Who is the customers? Who will watch the images? Man and woman. No, what is the man and woman? You are adding things. Show me what it says, man. It says, if a man, if a man like an image, he will enter it. Do you see the word women? Okay. So in Arabic, is it insan? Is it what? Uh, the no, man. No, it says, it's not, it's not, it's not insan. It says rajul. Rajul, rajul means a female, I'm sorry, a male with penis. Uh, uh, you know what the uh, penis, right? Yes. Yeah, you can watch the video of uh, uh, Mimi Hijab when he is naked, and you will uh, you you will not understand it there because obviously he don't have one. So look at this. It says, indeed, in paradise, there's a market which there's no buying nor selling except for images of men and women. So whenever a man desire an image, which means to have sex with it, he enter it. Show me the Arabic word man over there. I want to see if it's insan. Uh, here we go. Is a shtahar rajulu. You speak Urdu, you don't speak Arabic, but I know that Urdu they use Arabic letters. فَإِذَا اشْتَهَى الرَّجُلُ صورة دَخَلَ فِيهَا So if the man, he desire an image for sex, you know, he get in it. To boom boom. What say you? You like? Do, do, do be honest with me. Do you like men? I don't. Why? What do you mean you don't? So why you watch Mimi Hijab videos? Oh my God! Are you that like? What is wrong with your head? I don't know what's wrong with you, Muslims. Why a Muslim man? He go in the street. You know? Did did Mimi Hijab? He heard in the news that there's a female lesbian. They took off their top to put straight. Is he a lesbian? Why he's taking off his top? He explained. I already explained to you. He got very emotional. Okay. Why you don't oh, get he, emotional right I, now? Okay, get emotional. Go ahead. Why would I get emotional? Well, I just showed you. You can have sex with men. Aren't you emotional now? If that would not move you, what would move you then? Then heaven, your God, Allah, is a Playboy magazine. He is he's a vendor of a Playboy magazine. You have images of boys and women and men. So what do you have in Jannah? What do you have? We have God. That's it. Because we have Allah too. No, you don't. You have asses. You have penises. No, you don't have Allah. Show me where in the Quran it says Allah will give you Allah. The Quran says I will give you women big, with big boobs. Did the Quran okay. promise you? Did, did the Quran? Did, did the Quran promise you women with big boobs? So what? That's a part of but you, gift. This is part of the gift. Okay, so you open your door, you find two boobs in the front of you. What is the women? In the verse, you said you speak Urdu, and you know which means you can read the letters. He did not even say the word women. He says kawaibun atraba. So what is what is the women? The Muslim in translation, they are the word women. But in reality, there's no women. So what kind of God and why God is promising you women with big boobs if they are women? We don't know if they are women, they might be cows. As you see, your God Allah is weird. So you promised big boobs. Boobs of what? We do not know. The Muslim, they add women. They say, okay, it's a woman. But there's no proof of that. Secondly, what is the point of a promising me women with big boobs? What if I like them small? Okay, you will have it small. No, he says big boobs. I was you going see, to my friend, my friend, I was going, I was going to convert to Islam, but when I saw this, I got scared. I mean, imagine nah. you go to the bedroom, your wife, she open her, uh, her, her blouse and boom, you know, you have a flood of uh, boobs, boom, you know, she hit you with them and you're like, well, this is dangerous. First of all, the, this, do we have this, insurance against boobs? What if your wife, she decide to hit you with one of her boobs? I saw a movie, you know, like it's a, it was a comedy movie. The woman, she take her boob and she broke the, the, the beans six by six inch beans, you know, I, you know, with the boobs. You know, okay, so what if this woman? What if the, what if this woman? She hit you with her her big boobs. Do we have insurance against boob? What uh, uh, what do we have first aid against those boobs? You don't need any first aid. 
because already that will be killed. What we killed? So, you want to kill the boobs? But I don't understand. What? What? I am saying on the day of judgment. Mm -hmm. That will be brought in the shape of goat or sheep, something, and it will be killed. So, oh, you angel, mean, you mean death? Death will be killed. Yeah. So, <laughs> angel, you know, this is, of, is this is one activity. of the funny things in Islam, guys. Allah will bring the, the death as a ram, and He will kill him. But is death is a person? Is malakul maut? So Allah will kill an angel. Allah will kill death itself that also is his creation okay but why he won't kill him i mean the guy he was doing his job i don't think he will kill angel of death i think he will kill death okay, how you can kill death is that there is death as a person we go back to zero that is a creation and allah will end it so death is a creation hmm. uh, so now right now in the corner of my room there is a creation his name is death no, the death is something that every person and living being will experience. Uh, this is not the question. You all said he will kill death, and you said he is a creation. So, in, yeah. in order to kill a death, you know, you have, and not only to kill, actually, it says he will slaughter death, correct? Yeah. He will slaughter, which means he will cut his neck. So, death have neck. Whatever it has, it will end, and no one will ever suffer in Jannah, okay? Do you have nipples? When I will go to Jannah, mm. I will be able to see Allah. That is the biggest reward of Jannah, biggest. You will see Allah? Okay, how you will see Allah? That is the biggest reward. No, you no, know, in how, Quran, how you will see Allah? Is it true that you will see the, the leg of Allah? Allah will remove whale. No, 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 will... no, 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 hold on. I may, I'm making the question clear. Is it true mm. that you will see the leg of Allah, the shin of Allah, not all his leg? I do not have that much knowledge. Okay. So what we will do now? You don't but I knowledge. do know that I will see Allah's face. You will see Allah's face. So, is, okay. As long as Allah, he said he will show you his shin, and you said you will see his face, that means his face is located in his shin. You see, you are making things up now. No, I'm not. You are the one who said you will see his face. And Allah, he says he will show his shin. And if only I... shin. So that means Allah, Allah, he, his face is in his shin. Wait, let me explain. Uh. If I want, if I desire that I want to see Allah's face, Allah will show me his face. That's it. Okay, but his face is where? In his in the top, in the bottom, in his shin, where Allah he said he will see his shin. Here, man. Okay, read with me carefully. Read with me carefully. Uh, here we go. This is your prophet. May Allah, uh, uh, you know, bless his penis. He's saying the following. I want you to read with me in the screen. Do you know the sign which you will recognize him? Do you see the, the YouTube? Look in the screen with me. Mm -hmm. Do you know the sign? Who is saying that, Muhammad? Muslim speaking to Muhammad and Muhammad is explaining to them so he said do you know any sign by which you can recognize him they will say the shin and so Allah will uncover his shin do you see it yes yes okay so where is the face of Allah is in his shin there is also another hadith see you pick and choose when it comes to hadith no problem still um, you know this is your prophet my friend my friend my friend are you saying to me your prophet is stupid i'm showing you what your prophet said it doesn't matter what hadith as long as your prophet is saying this is how that oh isn't it your prophet saying that or i'm making things up this is Sahih bukhari yes so we we will see his shin we will okay. also see no you will not only see his shin you will recognize him from his shin Yes. Yeah, so? Okay. So you will not recognize him by his face. You will not recognize him by his toes. You will not ah. recognize him by his nose. You will not recognize him by his eyes. And you will not even recognize him by his nipples, like Mimi Hijab. You will recognize him only by his shin. Okay. So? Okay. So you got Allah as a shin. You see, that's the problem with you. Why? He just does not have only shin. 
Uh, what he have? What else? Didn't recognize him with Shane. Okay, you said he did not have only Shane. What he have? Whatever he might have. No, I don't no, want... tell me. Don't tell me whatever. I mean, what's wrong with Muslims? You said he don't only have Shane. So what he have? That's mean you are sure that he have more additional parts. So what else he have besides Shin? Whatever in the hadith it talked about. I don't I tell me whatever. Give me give, name things. You are the Muslim. I, I am the Christian. I'm learning from you. You are a scholar. You know, and soon uh, uh, Mimi Hijab will interview you. And then he will get emotional. And then he will take off his pants. <laughs> so how many parts beside the Shin Allah he have? I don't know all of that. I, I do know that he has a face. He have a face. He have hands, right? We will be able to see his face. Do you have hands? Yes. Okay. So, so at least now we confirm that Allah have a shin, Allah have a face, Allah have a hand. So how this potato Mimi Hijab he said to David Wood that who said so when he said to him Allah have parts? What but is that, that he like? Yes, but that does not mean you know when people say hands face, uh -huh. it doesn't mean hands like us. Ah, who cares? It's hands. I yes. asked you a second ago. Do he have hands? You said yes. So they look yes. like us, they look like a spider hand. Who cares, my friend? Listen, hands is hands. When Allah He described them as hand, it's mean they are hand. So are you are you against are you against Allah describing himself his body part? No, no. By words we use? Against that. Okay, but when I'm... Allah He says shin, what what is that shin mean part of the leg? Or does it mean something else in Islam? Look, I, I think it's shin, but I don't know a, a lot about it. But let's talk about something I want to you know talk what? about. I think I am Allah because when I last time I went to the beach, uh, a Dutch beach actually, a swimming pool. The guy in swimming pool, the security, he said, "Sir, claiming to cannot, be divine, you cannot swim wearing all your clothes because you know I'm very hairy. You know this why you know uh, uh, the word hairy is coming from us Arab hairy booter." Coming from the Arab, we are very hairy. So he said, you cannot swim with your clothes. I said, you idiot. This is my shin and it's covered by hair. So do you think my shin is different from others? That's mean I am Allah. So who care about Allah's shin is different from others? Okay, okay. He has it. So what? Okay. So Allah is a physical being. Oh, so that's where you wanted to go. Ah, <laughs> are you shaking, your, are you shaking your head? Be honest with me. Are you shaking your head now? Uh -huh. It sounds like I'm I watching don't... an Indian movie now. Are you going to bring me like 10 girls, 10,000 girls dancing in the middle of the movie? Yeah, Allah is a physical being because when you agree that Allah have hands, Allah have shin, Allah have a face, that means he's a physical being. Let me tell you something. Tell me something. In the Bible, uh -huh. isn't it written that Allah created man in his image? Okay, but that is Jesus. So you are saying to me that God, Jesus, uh, He created uh, Adam in His image. Thank you. I created you. Yeah, He created. Okay, well, hold on. Uh, did your prophet say the same? What did he say? That God created Adam in His image. Oh, did he say that? Oh yeah. He okay. was copying. He was copying the Bible. Okay. So. Okay. So. So as Allah, he created Adam in his image, that's mean he have the image of a man. Whatever image he might have, he's no, 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 our no, no, God. No. You see, you are the one who said, you are the one who said, you are trying to prove me, supposedly, in a point, that you are saying to me that God is a man. Well, we have no problem with that. Jesus came to us as a man. The Bible says everything created by him and for him. So he created Adam in his image because simply Jesus will come to us as a man. So here we go, it says in the, in the, in, in the hadith, and this is Sahih, Bukhari and Muslim, he reported, but messenger said, as saying, when any of you fight, he must avoid the face for God created Adam in his image. So your God, Allah, is a man. Look. Look, I'm looking. Yes, I, 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 listen to me. I'm listening. Okay? Just don't keep on interrupting. Hold on, just wait. I, I got, I got Zakir Naik. I'm calling. Hold on. Yes, uh, Dr. Zakir Naik. We have a person. He speak or do with us. What do you want to say to him? Brother. I advise you to hang up right away. First of all, you are not qualified to debate Christian Prince. Secondly, when you say to him, listen, Christian Prince is not listening. 
because he has a very, 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 very big agenda. And he's going to get you busted. So whatever you say to him, he will get you busted. So my friend, my brother, hang up right away. And by the way, I have my son, he's 18 years old, and he's looking for a wife. So if you know a girl, see that you know she was going to marry my son, you know his video is there, and you, you can contact him. Because my son is really a good person, and he is looking for a wife. Thank you very much. Like, and like, he called us to make a commercial about his son you know, looking for a wife. So what are you talking about, my friend? It says okay. Allah He created Adam in His image. This is copy from the from the Old Testament. Copy paste. I don't, I don't have any problem if Allah, whatever Allah is, I don't. So have Allah any is a man. What? Allah is a man. I, you said to me the Muslims they keep lying to us, saying Allah don't look like anyone. Here we go. He looked like Adam. Oh really? Yeah. Allah, and, and by the way, I, Adam was very hairy. The Middle East. Okay. Oh, by the way, okay, so, hold on, hold on. Uh, you are from India, right? Yeah. Okay. Is it true that Adam was Indian? Who said that? Adam. You're a prophet. Was, was... You're a prophet. He said that. He said when Allah He sent Adam, He sent him down to Sri Lanka. Yes, yeah, Sri Lanka was in India. Yes, Sri Lanka is always part of India. Don't you know that? I didn't know that. Yeah. Well, you don't go on to school. Now they are they are different country, but always they are part of India. So now, are you saying to me that your God Allah is bad in geography? He thought Sri Lanka is India. Uh, is that picture true? Do you think you know where uh, the people you know they have a picture of a man's uh, legs fingerprints? Yeah, it, this is like... Adam. Yeah, exactly. According to you Muslims, this is a Buddha temple, by the way, and this is telling us that Muslims and Buddhas they share a lot, and Hindus. I, I am saying, do you Islam believe is a, that Islam is a Hindu religion? Islam is is a branch of Hinduism. This is why you have the black stone and you kiss it. This is this is a vagina stone. So, oh, so, so you are telling me Jesus is now a black stone kisser? He did not. It's your prophet today. I, I will tell you that. You tell me what? I will show you that that he did that. Jesus, he kissed black stones. Yeah. Okay, show us why. In the hadith. Ah, in the hadith. Ah, this is the, this is the most, this is this is not Jesus. This is a guy. His name is Isa, and he's a Muslim. <laughs> so now oh. you confirm it that Islam is a black stone kissers. Doesn't matter Muhammad or not. All of you are the same. Oh, so you you are throwing Jesus under the bus? Well, this is not my Jesus. This is yours. This is your prophet saying so about a guy. His name is Isa. He never said the word Jesus. Correct. Okay, but everybody knew that was Jesus. No, we never heard. You know, we are Arab Christians, and we never you, we call Jesus Isa. This is a this is a name we never heard before. Isa ibn Maryam. Who care? This guy, his name is Isa ibn Maryam. Who is this guy? We do not know. According to the Quran, this guy is is the nephew of Moses. Okay, right? look, let, let me tell you. No, listen, what, listen. Is he what, the, is he the nephew of Moses? I don't have knowledge about that, so let's talk about something well, that the, I. The Quran says, the Quran says that Mary, the mother of Isa, she is the sister of Aaron. That doesn't literally mean sister of Aaron. Ah, you know, in Islam, everything is not. When you say the the, the sister of Aaron, they mean the sister of Trump. No, Allah didn't say. Allah didn't say she was sister of Aaron. Allah quoted the the saying of those people. Uh, they were saying to Mary that, oh, sister of Aaron, what have you done? So why Allah, he did not say to them, oh, she is not the sister of Aaron, you idiot. Allah, he agree. Oh, Allah, Allah <laughs> said to the prophet. My prophet Allah, said he agree. It. Allah, he agree. No, your prophet did not. A Jewish guy okay. came to Aisha. A Jewish guy, he sent to Aisha and he said to her, uh, you know, tell the prophet that there's hundreds of years between Mary, the, the mother of Isa, and the mother of, and, and and the sister of Aaron. <laughs> yeah, so my prophet okay. did explain. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. What is the name of the father of Moses? I don't know. Amran. Okay. Okay. So when the Quran says that the father of Mary is Amran, how this happened to... Wasn't this um, proven again that Muhammad is an idiot? Because the chapter 3 is called the chapter of Ardu Imran. And in the chapter there it says that Imran is the father of Mary. <laughs> but Imran, hold on, but Imran is the father of, the father of Moses. 
So you must have you try to fix the first one about she is the sister of Aaron. You say, ah, in that time they used to call them by their ancestors or the great prophet. But look, the stupid Muhammad, he cannot fix this one. Because in the Quran, Mary, she is the daughter of the same father of Moses. And all of yeah. us, we knew that this is not the real name of the father of Mary. So you're a prophet is a stupid again. We will find out when when all of humanity will go to my prophet uh -huh. and ask him for salvation. That's when you will find out who my prophet is. Uh -huh. Even your Jesus won't do anything on that day. Uh -huh. Okay, okay. But you know what is important now? That the guy who was not Abrahamic for 40 years, he would do something. Right? Uh, what do you think? I have a question. What do you think about uh, Moses' companions. Moses' companions? What yeah, about what them? Tell think, me. Were they good to Moses or not? What do you think they are bad? No, I'm I'm asking you. I don't what know. do you I'm learning from you? You are the one who opened the topic. Teach me. What about it? I'm not teaching. I'm here to ask you. I don't know. I don't know. I wasn't there. You tell me. What do you think about Moses' companion? What, what, what do you mean by Bible. Moses' compa companion? What does that mean? What the word companion mean? Sahaba. Sahaba. Ah, Sahaba, according to the Quran, they are bad. What about according to Bible? Are they good? I don't know. I think they are. They, you don't want to I, answer. I, you are scared. No, no, I'm saying to you, you are saying according to the Bible. Do you believe in the Bible? No, I don't. Okay. But well, according to the I, Bible, according to the Bible, every person in the world is not good, save Jesus. Even the prophet, even Moses himself. No one is good but God. This is what the Bible says. So I answer you. Secondly, now I'm asking you. You oh, are you the one who mentioned you about you are the one who mentioned about Moses. So was the Sahaba of your prophet good? Greater. They were greater than Moses. I will show you, I will tell you about one hadith. Okay. When in the war, hmm. our, uh, our, uh, uh, my Prophet Sallallahu Sahaba, they quoted this verse okay. when the companions of Moses said, Go, you and your Allah fight. Okay. So Sahaba said, We are not like Moses' companions, Ya Rasulullah. We will fight from your front, we will fight from your left, from your back, from your right, and we will not let any enemy come in near you. And then they killed him. That's how great. Okay. And, and this is how they created the Sahaba, and then they killed Uthman. And then they killed the second Khalifa. And they killed the after Khalifa. They killed the Ali. Every, every single oh. Khalifa, you must think you killed him. This is how great the Sahaba. So if the Sahaba are good, who is the one who killed the Caliphate? Who is the one who killed Muhammad? I'm talking about great Sahaba, not other Sahaba. But that does mean they are the great because they are the one who killed him. They are the great Sahaba. His close Sahaba I'm talking about. Okay, who is his close Sahaba? Is Aisha is a close Sahaba? Look, I'm talking about male Sahabas, okay? Okay, uh, so okay, Muhammad, he don't have a, okay. So the male Sahaba, of, if, if I go to your house and I see your wife doing poo, poo and then I say to your wife, looking at her ass, oh, we recognize you. Is that a great Sahaba? Look, don't tell me about all of that Sahaba, okay? I'm talking about I'm, the I'm great. I'm talking about the greatest Sahaba. Is, it, is Umar al Khattab is one of the greatest Sahaba? Yeah. Okay, yeah. so how Umar, when he see the ass of of the wife of Muhammad, spying at her, and he said to her when she was doing poo, -poo Oh, we recognize you, Sauda. Is that really? what good men did? Here we go. This is, Sahih, this is Sahih Bukhari. Go ahead. Wait, I don't see it yet. Wait, let me read it. Hmm. And he is the one actually who created the veil chapter. Omar. The wife of Prophet. Which hadith is it? You are keep on scrolling. I can't read. You know what? And the other day, I got a ticket from the police for scrolling. The wife of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam used to go to al Mahdi. Hmm. Dina. Even this place, Baki, what a great place that is. What is that? When the women, they go to do poo-poo, Umar al-Khattab is watching them? 
No, I'm talking about the place, Bucky. My prophet said, whoever buries here, I will... Uh, whatever buries, what are you reading? If, Abdul, what, what are you reading? It says about, this is a hadith about shit. What buries? Yes. This no, is a hadith about shit. Bucky, no, no, I, I, I didn't complete reading it. I just read, you know, in the second line, it says near Bucky at Medina. Near Bucky yeah. and Medina. Okay, hold on. It says here, uh, between two brackets, uh, this is a great place to shed then because there's what they were shitting. This is the hadith about shit, literally. The wives of no. Muhammad, they went out to do poo poo, to shit. Excuse my language, but this is a holy shit, as you know. They are wives of Muhammad. Muhammad, he put this <laughs> inside. So they are doing shit. And then Omar sitting outside waiting for them. When Sauda, she came out, take off her panty, and she sat down. Omar, because he's a nice guy, he says, Sauda, we recognize your ass, Sauda. What kind of a Sahabi, great Sahabi, he do such a thing to the wife of his prophet. He is didn't it, see her uh, name. What do you mean she's doing poo, poo When he spoke to her, she was doing poo, poo How he recognize her? It's dark, supposedly. How he recognize her? They are wearing veil. They are naked. No, they are wearing veil. No. So the woman she is uh, coming out of her house, doing take off her clothes, lift up his uh, hair, you know, and her ass is coming down. And Omar is was watching there. He says, "Hey, Sauda, <laughs> I recognize you. This is you. I know it's you." After she was finished, and she was maybe she was going to her home back. Ah. But no, he uh, is saying, hold on. It says it's okay. Why? So why they are mentioning that they are doing shit? Do you see the word says they are going here in Arabic, in English, trying to make it uh, look nice. So it says here uh, to do the call of nature. <laughs> in Arabic, it says to do shit. <laughs> so okay. when he saw her, he did not see her when she is out normally. He saw her specifically when she is doing shit. Correct. She she uh, answered the call of nature. Then she what she is was the call of nature. What is the, I, I, you her. know English is not my first language, as you know. What is the call of nature? Meaning we go and you know we do. We do what? number one, number what we, two. What we do? Number one and number two, man. What is number one and number two? Is that mathematics now? Even shit is mathematics in you for you. What number one and number two? What does that mean? You see, my religion does not teach me to be very bad, use very bad tongue like uh, like you uh -huh. guys do. Okay, so how the Quran then you would say is if a, if, a, if a man he touched, uh, he, he came from doing shit, you know, he have to wash. The Quran use it. Why I can't use it? Ra'it. I'm saying like other words too. Okay, you know, what is the connection with why Allah he revealed verses about shit? Why the verses of hijab came when the guy was watching them about shit? You, you pray five times a day, correct? Mm -hmm. What what a prayer you make? What prayer I make? Yeah, you say what you say. What chapter you say? Uh, Surah Fatiha. All right. Is it true that you receive Al Fatiha? The Prophet he received the Fatiha when he was doing shit too. I don't know about that. What do you mean you do not know about that? You guys you know nothing. So uh, what kind whenever of, whenever he received it, so what? So what kind of God he he cannot wait until his prophet finishes his shit to give him the verse? Is is that found in Sahih Bukhari? This is here. This is your book, the book of Asbab al Nuzul. Here we go, and this is the official oh, government. I don't, I don't the believe in any of that? No, we have because this is why you must then publish it. This is the official government of the kingdom of 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 Jordan. And the king of Jordan, he owned the website personally, and he claimed that he is from the grand grand grandsons of Muhammad. So he each can time, say whatever he wants. my friend, it's not him who's saying that. This is not him. This is the, the book of Tafsir. It says here that when, whenever the prophet he go out to do poo poo, whenever he go out to do what? To do poo poo, he hears someone calling him. Says, "Oh, Muhammad." And whenever he heard this, he used to flee. Waraq ibn Nufal advised him to remain in his place when the caller call him next time. By the way, why Muhammad was running away when he heard the angel saying to him, Oh Muhammad? Maybe he was scared because of the noise. Maybe he's getting emotional. 
Okay, look, don't make fun, okay? I'm not making fun. I mean, you are doing poo-poo now. And suddenly, you are in the middle of the dark. You are in the middle of the dark doing poo-poo peacefully. Huh? You know? And then the angel decide now to say to you, Oh, Muhammad, what's wrong with this religion? Muhammad is staying home all day long. Can the angel speak to him when he's inside the house? The guy go outside to do poo-poo and now it is time to tell him. And not only first time, second time, always. And the guy, he run away. Why Muhammad, he run away? If we go back to the video of uh, uh, Ibn Farooq, potato, he said that each time Jibreel, he come to him, he said to him, I am Jibreel. But look, According to Hadith and according to Muslim stories, Jibreel never said I'm Jibreel. Why Muhammad he ran away? Muhammad he hear a voice with his fart. He's farting doing poo, poo He hear a voice saying, oh, Muhammad. You don't hear a guy saying I'm Jibreel. So this yeah, guy, no. this guy is a liar. Let me play the video again. Hold on. Things like linguistic miracles that the yeah, Arab poets good. couldn't respond to. Yeah. So that's cool. That's but cool. He didn't, know, he didn't know it was Gabriel. The angel didn't tell him it was Gabriel. He did. He did. He did. Sure. No, no. Even at that so, time, right? But but I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Uh, because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. But I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is. So he said that Muhammad he did not know who is Gabriel, and then he claimed that Gabriel he told him who he is. But as you see. When Muhammad always hear voices, see something, he go to Waraq ibn Nawfal. And Waraq ibn Nawfal is the one who tell him, this is Gabriel. And the question is, what kind of God he sent his angel to deliver Quran in the wrong time? This is the time of Pupu. And then, why Muhammad, why Muhammad is running away from an angel? Uh, this is Al-Fatiha. Is Al-Fatiha the first chapter Muhammad received? No. Okay. So he heard the angel before many times, correct? Yes. Okay, why is he running away? That's why I cannot believe in that. What do you mean you cannot believe in? This is your books. That's not my book, okay? Whoever published it, that's their own problem. This is their own problem? Okay, well, you know, let us take some other Muslim who can ex explain to us better than you. Is that okay with you? Because some Muslims, they try to call me. I will try to take one more call. And I want Where to say to... thank you. Uh, thank you, love Allah. You love Allah? Yes, before I go, I want to say something. Say something. Please, you know, I don't want you to go to hell, you see. Okay. I watch your videos. I don't want you to go to hell. Uh -huh. I want you to be safe. Well, I'm saying That's why the Quran says that all the Christians, all the Jews, even those who they are Sabi and who worship the stars will go to heaven. It has been abrogated. Oh, so uh, guys, Allah, he abrogated that. He changed his mind. So where, where it says it's abrogated? What, what kind of religion is religion? So Allah, he promised the Christian, the Jews, the, even the, the Sabian who worship the stars, they will go to heaven. And then Allah, he changed his mind later. Why? No, I'm saying you, that's not for you guys. That's for those. <laughs> okay, just take, take care. Take a hike. Let us take second Abdul. <laughs>